Good morning, guys. How are you doing today? I'm smiling. I'm super stoked. I hope you can feel it. We are in Chunda. So where I grew up, we didn't have access to Chinese food, but maybe you in the West, the type of food that you are used to eating as Chinese food, that is from this part of China. So China is huge. We're talking about just one province, but it's so famous because that's where Hong Kong, Guangdong and Guangzhou, this huge town, that's where this food comes from. So we're going to have a breakfast buffet. Cannot wait to get inside and see all the dozens of dishes at the Dragon's Hotel. But it's a restaurant, but this place, it is just epic. Look at it. Welcome to a truly epic breakfast. So I think of this as like James Bond cuisine because that's where I've always seen this. So you remember in like the James Bond movies from the 70s where he would have food that, well, it looks like this because it is this and it's from this part of China. So China is huge, but it is this Chinese food that is represented in the West as Chinese food. There are seafood options. There are, oh yeah, tons of like snack type options before the meal. It's a little bit expensive, but it is a treat for sure. Man, I'm gonna enjoy it. Hi, uh, Sarah. She lives south of here, so cool that she came up to take us, take us out like this. Okay. Oh. So there are two ways. You can do the modern way, like this. You scan using WeChat, and then you can see the menu, all the colors here. That's awesome. Or you can do old school. The paper menu, they give you both options. So I cannot read Chinese, so I'm happy to have some pictures. But you can also just go outside and just smile, point, and choose. Yeah, but it's very cool. Morning tea, but there's like a hundred dishes that come with the morning tea. <laughs> so awesome. So you need your phone and you need your chopsticks and an empty belly for sure. Those three things. Dragon's restaurant. So, Saran, this is your home food yeah. or special? Special uh, usually, example. Usually. Yeah. Uh, home food. Okay. okay. So living living in Thailand, I just eat food from Guangxi when Lee cooks at home. Very different than this. Very different. Okay. These two are so interesting. What is this? Uh mi. Okay. And a <laughs> Sticky rice with chicken. Yeah. But there's a leaf around it, right? So you, open. so you do not do this. Open, open. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that leaf is beautiful. It Just smells like so good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I will share with Lee. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it, you can see. it opened it's itself. Secret. Yeah. Mushrooms, chicken, yes. the glutinous rice, sticky rice called nuomi in Chinese. Wow. Okay. Mm. Very hot, so warming. Got eggs. Yes. Got chicken, got mushrooms. Mm. It is just pure comfort. So much umami, so satisfying. It's warm, rich, chewy, smooth, beautiful. Got some porridge. Man, I love that dish. So filling, especially in the cool season, in the rainy season like this. Mm. Got some turnip down there as well. delicious to try but this dish now I see you gotta treat your stomach space gently because there is so much food so 
It's very heavy. You might even want to share this. It's so delicious. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> It's enough, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for letting me go first. Okay, so, uh, shu fan. Shu fan is to invite people to eat. So, shu fan, shu fan. Let's eat. So we got some spicy dip over here, some chili, some oil. I gotta try that dish. It looks so interesting with the the rice noodles underneath. So I've noticed there are two dishes here that we picked that have these rice noodles, which are very sticky, like, like sen yai in Thailand. And then you have the, the pork ribs. Okay, so the noodles are steamed right with the pork. So they have some of the, the oily bits of the pork. They have the smell for sure. Mm, they smell sweet too though. Uh, like this. That is yeah. beautiful. Oh man. <laughs> wow. Okay. Come back here. So going for the dip. I'll go for the ribs. A little bit salty, spicy, just so rich. The oil chilies. That is a glorious dip. Could just eat it with noodles, just like that. But just go gently, it really is salty. Mm. Oh man. Okay, you guys. I feel bad for my two friends. One more dish, Oba Mason. It also has that, like a bed of the noodles. Gotta try this, just this part of the cow looks so fascinating. So there is some oil there too. I am gonna just try it just like this. I love cow intestines so much. Mm. It is chewy, how chewy, how chewy, yeah. It might be a little, a little on the chewy side for some people, but I love it. And I love this dip already. Also got some vinegar, but I know this is my dip right here. got a lot more dishes to go through so let me show you how I'm gonna get started with some porridge so the porridge is served very hot obviously it's from a huge pot be on the lookout just a burn warning from this one so I'm gonna put that here for myself I see some spinach some green onions some kale some tofu also some peanuts some egg yolks some eggs there's gonna be some kind of thing with meat, like pork. It's not vegetarian, I'm sure of that. Oh, I already said eggs. Oh man, it looks so thick, so rich, so satisfying, so filling, just like all of this food. I gotta talk for a little while to let it cool down. That's one of my strategies. Mm. Mm. So it's thick, but it's not rich. It's very clean. It's uh. It is, it is your one carbohydrate, really. You got some noodles here, but that's your, that's your base, right? So this is a special meal though, so don't fill up too much on this. So many really special dishes here on the table. So you're gonna come with me. The girls are gonna enjoy their breakfast. So, oh, okay. This salad, yes, egg with pork. Egg with pork. Hey, so we have two options of the jiao. So I learned about a food called Jongzi when I was at Lee's home. And Lee loves this one. She said it's similar. Yeah, she said, oh, it's so good when she just, that was the first thing she tried this from this meal. Yeah. How does leaf? Oh, I could not think of what, okay. It smells so good. It's the lotus leaf on the outside. Jongzi can be the lotus leaf, but also bamboo leaf can be a few different leaves. The reed leaves. Oh, oh, yeah. This is so much fun. This, 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 this,
take video 好看。这个。Then you have the yellow. Oh, okay. You can eat. Thank you. So you have this, the paper on the bottom to peel. No. <laughs> oh, most things you use chopsticks. Some things you can go with your hands, though. That's very fun. Oh, the, oh man, it's even still liquid inside. It smells so good too. It smells so sweet. Is it egg yolk? Yeah, yeah, Is it yeah. custard? Okay. That is beautiful. The golden color is so beautiful. Look at that. Yeah. So gentle. I like the just white and gold. That's a very beautiful, beautiful food. I mean, all of this food. Yeah. The the look of it is obviously very important. It is so beautiful. I think is it just egg and egg yolk? It's almost creamy, like pumpkin, like a steamed pumpkin, really thick and so nicely. Smooth, not like barely fibrous at all. Hmm. Wow. Yes. Is it a sweet or just normal? Sweet. sweet. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. So good. Something gently sweet like that goes so well too with like meaty, salty. So another bite of porridge because I'm gonna switch flavors. To really appreciate the differences, kind of clean your palate in between. If I would have tasted it first, I would have known it was fish. The white fish meat is so clean. Wow, that's so good. Yes. I thought it was seaweed. It is just as slimy. It's just as rich. It's fish skin. It's not seaweed. In Shandong, fish is very famous. That's great. There's there's the ocean right there, but there's also a lot of waterways. Man. Yeah, and you saw all the fish out there in the in the really fancy aquariums. That's awesome. Hmm. Not only this to clear the palate, also can drink tea. Come. Mm. Yeah, like refreshed, and then you go for the next flavor or the next dish. We've got over there another dip. So we've got some. Mature vinegar over here. I'm trying this dish. I think this might be the prettiest dish. Got some kale on the side, Chinese kale. This is a rice noodle, but it's colored red. It almost looks like like xiao mai. So shrimp filling, another thing from the sea. This is the type of food that will really test your chopstick skills because it's it's steamed. Steamed, so the texture of everything is a little bit slippery. Deliciously slimy, though. One of my favorite textures. It's just so cool. <laughs> best dish. This is my favorite. That is the best dish. Inside, it's like a deep-fried shrimp dumpling covered with steamed rice noodles. Texture unbeatable. Crunchy on the inside, soft on the outside. It's never that way, right? Mm. That is amazing. What's the name of this? Uh, Hong Cha. <laughs> yeah, Hong Cha. Li. Red intestine. That is amazing. <laughs> Red intestine. <laughs> That is delicious. Okay. The name of that dish is incredible. Red intestines. But look inside. Just glorious. Okay, I am in love with that dish. Hong is red. Hong si. And chang is something long, but that's also what they call intestines. Ah, okay. Different character, same pronunciation. It's not intestines. Just.
moment of silence for incredible texture flavor combination. Wow. So the reason to come here on a weekend, or the reason that retirees love this type of food, this style fits so well with a free schedule. That's why you got to come on the weekend if you're like us, middle age, or you have a job. But that's why retirees just love to come here any day of the week because you eat this all morning. So it's called morning tea. But actually, some families here, my friend said, came at 8 a.m. But we came at uh, 9:30. But we can stay until two. We can stay until two. Oh, just stay as a. <laughs> Yeah, so four or five hour breakfast is the norm. Yeah, if you have as much food as we have, yeah, I can understand. Also, but it's it's also about the hanging out together. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Mm. Okay. To do something like uh, you, 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 yeah. Okay. Then you give me, I like this. Oh, I read about this. Thank yes. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I give you, if you give me, I give you, then I give you like this. Okay. So, for example, when my tea is finished, because I am older than her, when I see her move to to serve me tea again, I will. Right now. Okay. okay. Yes. That's that is very cool. Oh, anything with coffee ceremonies or tea ceremonies, especially in China, especially a lady from Huar. <laughs> from Huar. Yes. Huar God. You have to you have to get the wisdom from them when you have a chance. Even more tasty. Because I feel the love. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> How are you two doing? <laughs> yes. We started the chicken feet. How I should. We started the chicken feet. I missed it. Now, if you give me, Your, oh, okay. We are different. Ah. Yes, you, yes, you. Okay. You, are you young? Older. Yes, you just like this. Walk this. Yeah, this. Very cool. Even the the hand shape or position of the hand is different. So, ah, okay. Two, two times. Ah, yeah. wonderful to learn uh, cultural stuff like that. I could never experience that without coming here myself. You know, obviously. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you, sir. Mm. I forgot we gotta walk around the table. It's okay. Yeah, stretch, stretch the legs. I forgot the microphone this morning, so that's why I have this. This is a different porridge. So, Zhou is porridge. In Thailand, we have Zhou, which comes from Chinese Zhou. Wow, is that noodle? Is it okay? Noodles. Oh, pork in this one, not fish. A lot of pork. And then, uh, so in Chinese they call it skin eggs. In Thai they call it horse pea egg. In English called thousand year egg or century egg. I'm gonna grab a grab a chicken foot while I'm over here. And a chili. You got a pickled chili on there. 
chicken feet steamed like that, definitely a dish you gotta have. This is so fun. Oops. Where is that egg? I love the century eggs. They're so rich. Just gotta get that by itself, no pork. So second round of Joe. Mmm. It is still so warm. That's like 30 minutes and it's still, for me, perfectly warm. Okay, pork, oh yeah. Eggs are already rich enough, just a normal egg. The century egg, extra richness, I love it. Mm. I would like a little more sour, but it's just so clean. Every dish, it's thick, chewy texture, or just so warming, so satisfying, or both. Southern Chinese food for me really is the comfort, all the comfort. Whether it's from uh, Lee's part of Southern China, which is more spicy and sour, or the far south of this part of Southern China, which is more steamed and more focused on seafood. I love Southern Chinese food. And this is one example you gotta have if you are anywhere in the, in the region. Zhao is morning, cha is tea, so morning tea, zhao, zhao cha, be on the lookout. Another thing, she, even though we've been eating for like two hours, she's now ordering something else. So Li said, we do have to have some vegetables, so you'll be happy about that. She's like, we just eat the meat first, but we know that we gotta also eat some green veg. So, Sauron is taking care of that next step right now. Awesome. I'm glad that I've saved no space. <laughs> This is actually a hotel as well, even though it's called Dragon's Restaurant. Some people staying uh, upstairs or nearby, if they pay for the, I guess, the, the suite or something, this is the breakfast that's included with their room. So we just came to their hotel to have their breakfast with them. So for those of you curious about our first trip to China, it was four trips ago. This is our fifth trip, but a very special story, Lee and I, when we met, I met Xiao Ran at the same time. It was maybe even in Xiao Ran's room where they were cooking when they invited me to come and eat. Yeah. First time I ever knowingly met Lee. Maybe she saw me walking down the hall one time, maybe one or two times like earlier in the week the first time that I met her. So I have known Xiao Ran now for eight years. It's very cool, very cool that we can now meet in China. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like a long time. I, I have already lived in Thailand five years when I met you. So now 13, more than 13 years for me in Thailand. But we, yeah, we met all at the same time. Very cool. <laughs> we have three years lost three years. Yeah. We didn't see each other for three years now. Okay. So cool to meet in China. <laughs> Passion fruit has a very cute name in Chinese. Ai Xiang Hu, which is 100 Good Smells Fruit. I guess it's probably some tapioca balls. They've been colored orange or colored yellow. And then maybe some yogurt. Or maybe tofu milk inside. It's just so pretty. And so, so weird. It's a genius dessert. Yeah, we're gonna try this right now. I love the idea. 
quesadilla already going to be something like sour and also rich. So, Xiaoran, you have, you have not had this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah it smells totally like the sour of the passion fruit. Sour. Yeah, it really is sour. There's a lot of the passion fruit seeds inside. And then you can chew on the passion fruit seeds, but you think this is yogurt? No? Nope. Yogurt. Or egg. Okay. This thing is fun to eat. Yeah. That yeah, little tapioca ball is very nice. Cool dessert. Mm. I like it. Bai Xiang Guo. Ui. I thought you would love it. Wow, I didn't expect it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just like it. <laughs> I thought that would be a dessert you would love. Oh, 